Hi, right, everyone, and welcome to chapel today. The word of God for us today is the prophet Zechariah's prophecy of Palm Sunday, which is found in Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9, where the prophet writes hundreds of years before it happened. He wrote, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, daughter of Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you righteous and having salvation, gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The theme of chapel today is something to shout about. <clears throat> Are there things that make you want to shout? When I'm watching one of my favorite teams on TV, I often shout at the TV, even though obviously the people involved in the event cannot hear me. My wife believes that this behavior is strange, but to me it makes perfect sense. We shout often at games, or if we're playing in a game, we shout. Maybe you have been at WLA football and basketball games and other games and you have shouted. Maybe you shout when you're mad at someone. We shout when we are excited and we are passionate about something. The prophet Zechariah, when he was prophesying what would happen on Palm Sunday, he told the people to shout. He says, shout, daughter of Jerusalem. And that is exactly what the people did. It's kind of interesting that the story of Palm Sunday is one of the few accounts in the Gospels that is recorded in all four of the Gospels. And all four of the gospel writers tell us that the people were there who were there watching Jesus ride into Jerusalem on the little donkey shouted. They shouted loudly. Why were they shouting? Well, because they thought Jesus was coming to make things better. Most of them were probably thinking that Jesus was coming into town and he was going to do something about the Romans who were enslaving them and making their lives hard, and Jesus was going to make things better. And for them, that was something to shout about. Isn't that what we all want? We want things to be better. I think we always want that, but especially now at this strange time. I feel like in the last week or so, I have heard people say this more than a hundred times. They begin a sentence by saying, when this is all over, when this is all over, we're not going to be cooped up in our houses anymore. are going to be, be able to go out. You're going to be able to go hang out with your friends. You're going to be able to play sports. You're going to be able to go to job, your job and make money. Uh, like a lot of Christians and maybe like a lot of you, I'm really looking forward to when this is all over and I'll be able to go to church again and worship Jesus with my fellow believers. When this is all over, it's going to be great. <clears throat> it's going to be something to shout about. You know, if you're a Christian, when this life with all of its troubles is over, it's going to be great. It's, it's going to be awesome to be with Jesus and all our fellow believers in heaven. And that's why Jesus was riding into town on Palm Sunday. He was coming to town so that by the end of the week he could die on the cross and pay for all our sins. And, and Zachariah even said that in his prophecy. He said he's, he's righteous and having salvation. Jesus came to bring salvation. He came to take people to heaven. That's what Jesus is all about, taking people to heaven. And that's what following Jesus is all about, going to heaven. And that's something to shout about. Amen.